The stunning beauty of cherry blossom season in Japan is at the top of bucket lists around the world. And I'm not just talking your average bucket list. Literally, Oprah and Jeff Bezos came to Japan for cherry blossom season this year. And Jeffrey Bezos has been to space. This season is fun and beautiful and exciting. But there's also a much deeper side that dates back centuries and is rooted in philosophy. So it was only fitting to start our cherry blossom viewing time here at Philosopher's Path. Philosopher's Path is in Kyoto. And in this map venture, we're gonna have the chance to see the cherry blossoms in Kyoto, Osaka, and Nagoya. Oh. This is beautiful. Seeing the beauty and the imperfection and the, the fleeting nature of what this season has to offer. The cherry blossoms only blossom for like two weeks out of the year. It's cool and not cool if you're planning a trip. They literally have people whose jobs it is to predict when they're going to blossom. And they are wrong, very wrong <laughs> this year, uh, several weeks later. But I feel like that too is like a look at just kind of the, like the unpredictability in addition to the fleeting nature. Like life is fleeting, life is unpredictable, and it's just gonna be really cool to be reflecting on that here in the most beautiful possible setting to do so. And cherry blossom viewing is such a big part of life in Japan that they actually have a word, hanami, that literally means flower viewing, which is just really cool. As we're taking in this beauty, it is so cool to realize that people have been practicing Hanami for over 1300 years. And one of the most classic ways to celebrate is with a Hanami picnic. In the early days at Hanami picnics, offerings were made for the year's harvest, but there was also sake drinking and feasting, and those two parts have not changed. The most iconic place in the country to have a Hanami picnic is Marayuma Park in Kyoto, which is where we are right now. One of the absolute top things to do when the sakuras are blooming here in Japan is have a hanami picnic. And I have seen photos in Kyoto of this particular hanami picnic all over the internet. And I couldn't find any information on whether like you can just go do it or if it's something where you are making reservations months in advance. Turns out it's just here. You're living out my like wildest dreams right now, having a picnic under these beautiful cherry blossoms, sitting cross-legged, like in these really cute setups. We got some sake, but this is a very sweet sake, almost more like a Moscato. It is delicious. It's called Mio, which just goes perfectly under the sweet, refreshingly beautiful flowers. Then we also got Hanami Dango, which is these guys. But Hanami, like specifically for flower viewing, they make this little like mochi dessert. It's exciting to be eating our first Hanami dango actually like while enjoying our Hanami picnic. It's just like sweet, chewy, and delicious. It's great. And you can't beat the view. Uh, here's a good view. While we're on the topic of Sakura-themed food and drinks, we thought it'd be cool to get the Sakura Latte from the most unique and beautiful Starbucks in the world. But turns out the Sakura's bloomed so late this year that Sakura Latte season is already over, which is so crazy. Kyoto is one of the most beautiful places in the world, and while we love Marayuma Park and Philosopher's Path, I think stumbling upon the random, beautiful patches of Sakura as we explore the city is even more special. As the sun sets, we head back to Marayuma Park for Yozakura, the word for viewing cherry blossoms at night dimly lit by lanterns. There's a Japanese word for everything. This park has been a popular spot for Yozakura since the Edo period, 400 years ago. They are truly so beautiful at night. When we first walked up, I wasn't sure how seeing the same thing as earlier, but lit more dimly and in a bigger crowd could possibly be more special. 
but now we found a spot a little outside of the crowds and the romance and the magic of this moment is so palpable. It reminds me of the power of changing my perspective and seeing them at night reminds me how important it is to fully appreciate the beauty in life from every angle at all times of day. Because in a couple weeks, these petals will be gone. And when we return and see them again, we'll be different and so will they. Good morning from Osaka. It's a rainy day, but we can't let that keep us down because we only have a few days to enjoy the Sakura before we have to leave Japan. This city has been our home for the past couple of months, so we are especially excited to see how it transforms as the blossoms bloom. We are here at Osaka Castle, and this might be my favorite cherry blossom spot so far, partly because it is so much less crowded than it was in Kyoto, which could be just because it is a very rainy day and we're some of the only crazy people that actually came out and decided to enjoy the great outdoors. Um, but it's absolutely stunning to see the cherry blossoms with the historic castle here in the background. We are watching Shogun on Hulu right now, and uh, so that just makes like the history of the castle even more exciting because we're like literally currently watching a TV show where a lot of the major political events take place at this castle um, and the blossoms are so beautiful with the drain droplets on them I think they're they're definitely opening a little more than they were yesterday like every day we're just getting like something new like each Ichigo like each moment is its own special unique moment and comes and goes here during the Kora season and it's incredible we're loving it This is incredible. Having these actual peaceful spots. I don't know if it's just because it's a rainy day or if Kyoto is just so much more chaotic than Osaka. But if you go to the garden, if you come here to this incredible park, like this is stunning. And like part of wanting to experience the cherry blossoms is experiencing that peace. And you're getting that here in a way that we tried to capture yesterday and we definitely enjoyed yesterday so, so much. Like I definitely still recommend seeing the beautiful cherry blossoms in Kyoto, but like getting to see them like this and actually feel the serenity is incredible. You have to do this as well. You have to do both, both parts, both sides. I love seeing the petals fall into the river. It's like, they came so quickly and they're gone so quickly. And now there's just a few, but soon it'll be all of them. Nothing lasts, but you can enjoy it while it's here. have time traveled to Nagoya for peak bloom and by time traveled I just mean that we just actually traveled the normal way we took a bullet train from Osaka to Nagoya this morning and here the weather has been so much nicer so the flowers are at the peak of the bloom it is absolutely beautiful so many buds are opened up and it's like obviously Kyoto and Osaka are absolutely gorgeous and like the the early blooming stages were beautiful too but like this is absolutely breathtaking. I am so excited to be exploring Peak Bloom, baby. This is stunning, but we know it's truly something special when we see taxi drivers who drive all over the entire city, get out of their cars and take pictures. Which, there's a deer in this moat. Scary moat protectors. <laughs> 
Another day, another castle. This is Nagoya Castle, built in 1612. And inside his palace, we see cherry blossom artwork, which is such a cool reminder of the deep history of this Hanami tradition. another Hanami picnic. And this one I feel like is almost the most proper Hanami picnic so far because we are actually like on a mat. They've provided free mats here at Nagoya Castle. I'm in love with Nagoya. Nagoya is amazing. And maybe the fact that we actually made it here during peak bloom is part of what's making it just like even better. Like the blossoms are as stunning as possible. We're about to eat some classic Sakura Hanami picnic food. Sakura mochi. I'm so excited. So, mochi is, of course, like rice that's kind of been beaten into submission into this amazing soft, gooey texture. And then it, this is actually wrapped in a pickled Sakura leaf. This is an absolute classic Hanami picnic snack. I'm so excited to take a bite. That's really good. It is filled with red bean and then is covered in this delicious, soft, chewy mochi. It has a very light sakura flavor to it as well. The pickled sakura leaf has so much flavor, actually. It is packing a surprising punch. It's reminding me a bit of like a, a fennel. Like it has this really good like funk to it. Very good and unique. I'm so glad we finally got this. And once again, you just can't beat eating something delicious underneath sakura trees in Japan. It's a dream. Yeah, so far, very impressed with Nagoya. It's an awesome city. I think a big part of what's making our experience in Nagoya so awesome is that we're celebrating Hanami with locals. We actually feel like we're getting a peek into the community. And that is especially true at Suruma Park. Locals are camped out here with tarps everywhere, holding spots for their Hanami picnics later tonight. And there are so many food trucks. It's beautiful. Our last stop is one of the spots I've been most excited for, Four Seasons Road of Yamazaki River. This is considered one of the top cherry blossom viewing spots in the country, and I already think they're right. This is stunning. This spot is a little outside of the city and has more of a town feel, and it's so beautiful to see the locals going about their normal lives, biking home from work or working out under the Sakura and these high school kids. It's giving Blair Waldorf on the Met Steps, but so much cooler. <laughs> hot potato, hot potato. <laughs> This is a really good sweet potato. I dare say the best one we've had yet. It's like sweet, caramelized. It's like a pound of it too. <laughs> All of my Japan dreams are coming true right now. Food has been our favorite snack like since coming to Japan. We get them at every convenience store that we see them in, almost every grocery store that we see them in. And my friends from Japan have told me that that doesn't count. 
you're only allowed to get them out of the back of trucks where they're cooking them over charcoal. So we've been looking for trucks that are selling sweet potatoes for months now. It happened. <laughs> this is one of the best, most delicious things you can get. It's an eight dollar sweet potato. <laughs> it's a very expensive Hanami picnic snack, but I mean, this is the perfect Hanami picnic dream. You know, nobody really told these trees to blossom. Yep, thousands upon thousands of them blossomed at the exact same time, down to like the same day. Yeah. For no other reason than it's like the season to do so. These cherry blossoms, at least in the winter, the sakura trees are just look dead. You know, like it's like you're planting these absolutely beautiful trees here for these three or four weeks out of the year where they blossom and look absolutely incredible. Well, we've seen it, like the flowers are, are gone just as quickly as they come. You yeah. know, like in a week, they'll probably all have, have fallen into the river and, and floated on down. Having this time to appreciate the beauty, to have this Hanami flower viewing time, I feel like we have not only appreciated the sakuras, which is like the reason for this particular period, but it's also, I think, given us a moment to just appreciate our surroundings more in general. You know, we're noticing all of these flowers that we wouldn't notice before. Reminding you to be observant and aware of your surroundings. It's like a two weeks that reminds you to appreciate the little things the rest of the year. Technically, we've done a cherry blossom season before in DC, but like this has been so special for the moments that like aren't as official as well. Like I think in Kyoto we had like the most official cherry blossom experience and it was amazing, but we were going from place to place to place and getting like the classic tourist experience. But it's the moments where you're just like walking, looking for your restaurant and suddenly there's just a pack yeah. of cherry blossoms. And that's, that's something that you get in Japan that you, Japan has so many and there, there aren't so many, really many other places in the world. Yeah. So it's, it's just like the random And like no one else up. is there. It's just yeah. you and the cherry blossom tree. Reminding you like you can carve your own path. Sometimes it's the special little things that you find for yourself that are the most rewarding. Yeah. So many people are coming together from all over the world to celebrate and look at blossoming flowers. Mm -hmm. Something so simple and pure and natural and beautiful. Yeah. I love that. That's so special. We have had an incredibly special few days filled with fun and excitement and reflection. I definitely see why even billionaires have this on their bucket list. We hope to experience the Sakura here again someday. But even then, this moment and these petals will be long gone. The trees will change with each passing day. And so will we. <laughs>